The Congo River Basin, Rainforest Edition, by DJ Konchuk, Mike Corkill, and Riley Simpson. The Congo River Basin is located in Central Africa. Its terrain is very diverse and unique and consists mainly of lowland forests, secondary forests, and peat swamp forests. Secondary forests, or second growth forests, have been replanted after a previous timber harvest. Lowland forests grow more inland from the coast, above the rainforest valleys. These are often referred to as trees of cloud forests because their broad leaves trap moisture. Peat swamp forests grow in waterlogged soils that prevent drop leaves from decomposing, thus creating a thick layer of peat. Deforestation has recently expanded into these tropical moist forests. The area of the Congo River Basin encompasses six different Central African countries. They are the Republic of the Congo, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, Equatorial Guinea, and Gabon. The Congo River is the heart of the Congo Basin ecosystem and it is also known as the Zaire River. It is over 2,720 miles long and is the fifth longest river in the world. The Congo River is the biggest source of transportation in Central Africa because it has so many tributaries. The forests surrounding the river are also known as the Congolese forests. The Congo River is split into three distinct sections. The Upper Congo, the Middle Congo, and the Lower Congo. The densely vegetated forests thrive because of the equatorial climate of the Congo River Basin. Some parts of the Congo River are unable to be navigated because of hazardous waterfalls, rapids, and shallow waters. So, railroads have been built to continue the trade routes. Much of Central Africa's trade passes along the Congo River, including copper, sugar, coffee, cotton, and palm oil. The Congo Basin is home to over 1,000 bird species, 400 species of mammals, and 10,000 plant species. 1,100 of these plant species are only found in the Congo River Basin and nowhere else on this planet. The elephant is one of the animals on the critically endangered list. Its ivory tusks are prized and sold for a lot of money. The mountain western gorilla is critically endangered. Its pelts and meat are sold for money, leaving only 600 in the area. They are speared, trapped, and shot for their meat and are stuffed to be used as trophies. Additionally, they are being destroyed by deforestation, increased population, and agriculture following deforestation. The hippopotami are hunted because of their aggression caused by their territorial nature, as well as their skins, meat, and ivory teeth. Their habitat is also reduced as a result of deforestation, further decreasing their population, putting them on the endangered list. Cool. The three major threats to the Congo River Basin, its ecosystems and environment, are deforestation, strip mining, and the illegal poaching of, and the sale of, the meat of endangered species. Deforestation is one of the most harmful and vast problems in the Congo River Basin. Deforestation is the harvesting of mass amounts of trees, in spite of the fact that the forest is the primary habitat and maintains the climate of the region and of the world. Corrupt countries and companies continue to deplete the resources of the Congo River Basin. Deforestation in the Congo River Basin is more prevalent than anywhere else in the world. The Congo River Basin is also home to many species that depend on the rainforest ecosystem for survival. Interdependence exists between species for the distribution of seeds and pollination and predator-prey relationships. Also, the basin rainforest regulates our world climate through the transpiration of water. Strip mining is another issue in this area. The people of the Congo River Basin are often forced to work the mines to obtain the minerals hidden within the rich, fertile soil of the basin. Illegal poaching of, and the sale of, the meat of endangered species is another plaguing dilemma that depletes the resources of this region. 
The water shrew is another animal on the critically endangered list. Because of the diet of this rodent, consisting of insects and larvae, deforestation is taking away their food, thus killing them. The chimpanzees, pelts, and meat are sold and coveted by eccentric exporters. The internal conflict of the Congo River Basin is most widespread in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where the male population has been diminished so that children, elderly, and inexperienced have been forced into the military. These conflicts create many refugees who trample through the rainforests, killing many staff members and destroying the environment. There are over 75 million people living in the Congo River Basin. These people live in simple huts in the rainforest and have a simple life. These huts, composed of twigs and sticks, are covered with oil for protection from the precipitation. These people are not a direct threat to the endangered animals, but add to the effect of deforestation and mining, which eventually will harm the animals. The people in the Congo Basin depend on the rainforest for their survival, as do the animals. If the rainforest disappears, so will all the living things in the area. Thank you.